What up? This is the Creeper Kirk Knight, P.E. Beast Coast, and I'm here with High and Learning. Kirk. Knight. Jedi. Knight. Nigga. What's your talent? Well, I'm a producer, or well, I'm an executive producer, and I rap. And what do you rap about? You're coming up with an album, right? Yeah, I'm coming up with an album. And it'll come out soon. I'm not releasing no names, but it's supposed to be like a real late night feel and shit. What, um, what kind of feel are you doing? Is it like separating yourself from the whole pro era feel, or is it the same type of vibe, but just your personal touch? Well, my music, I guess, is a little separate because we're all separate artists because P is a collective group. Um, what's the difference between, like, what kind of support do you get from being a separate artist within a group rather than just the separate artist who doesn't have anybody with them? Well, the support I kind of get is, like, I could come to, like, Joey and shit and tell him, like, yo, what does he think about a track? And he could tell me his honest opinion and everybody else in Pearl Irish, Ayla, and... Diamond, Desi, like I could, I have a support like a, from a family and it's like I grew up with all of them so it's like, it's a real like, I could, I have somebody I could share my music with, you know what I'm saying? And it could give me their honest opinion instead of like a subjectified one because they're a fan or something like that, you know? So that's kind of like the difference. Um, what is, how old are you by the way? Well, I don't believe in age, so I guess infinity. Okay, Infinity. All right, so you look kind of young. So you, young man, as a young man, how do you feel taking the artist rap approach rather than, you know, like the conventional school, graduate, get a degree, do all this? Well, the thing is, I was actually really good in school. I graduated, um, I graduated high school and I finished my first semester in college at the same time. So it was like, it was just like music was more of a passion more than work, you know what I'm saying? Like it was something that I wanted to, it was, yeah, and like I could share my ideas through the world without using like an actual conversation. Like a song would be more symbolization of what I mean and shit. Would you say it's kind of like the same thing though? Like your performance is like your final grade before that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I guess like the studio's like my homework and shit. And, my, and this, this is the classroom, this is the test. My teachers, my managers. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Um, and when, you, when I say higher learning, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I would say third eye, but that's kind of cliche. So I could probably say God body, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and um, how important is art to you? Like, what is art to you? Art is like a, it's like a way to just explain yourself way better than words can you know what i'm saying even if you're using words because it's like your whole idea is in like a song or a piece of painting and it shows it just shows you like without anybody like being there to judge it and, or influence it at all it's all you like you know? so yeah the difference um are you yeah i'm from new york okay well are you aware with five points? You know what that is? What is the, it? The um, building with the graffiti on it. It has murals of Biggie and Nas. Really? It's been around for a while. Really? Yeah, and um, they just did a whitewashing. They did a whitewashing. Oh, I did see about yeah, that. I did see that. I, I was like, where did I even see that? I do, I do know what that is. Right, right, right. Um, and they, they're saying they did it more for gentrification to bring in, you know, like people with money or whatever for condos and stuff like that. What is your take on that? Well, wow. Well, my take on that is like, it's like, why would you destroy like a man's idea? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like doing that, I, I can understand that and like in the business standpoint of bringing more richer people for more like, you know, for agriculture, whatever reason, right. for, capitalism. Yeah, for capitalism and money and shit. But I feel like you should never touch a man's art because it's there for a reason. Yeah, and then it's like, it, it, it gives you like the real like New York feel because it's right. like you see the graffiti, you see like a New York mind. It like, was considered you know? an art museum, just an outside art museum really? that was on a building. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And they, they whitewashed it. Um, you for teaching me that. Yeah, no what is something that a girl has to have in order for you to be in a relationship with A mind. A mind. They have to be like they have to be humorous and have like a mind, like an interest, mm -hmm. like, you know. Okay, um, Trinidad James, can I talk to you about that? All right, go ahead. Okay, how do you feel about his comments about ATL running East Coast Airways in New York 
Well, that's not true because you know Brooklyn Cats always had like their own style, and we right. we have our own style. But that's like an opinionated thought. You right, know what right. I'm saying? How do you feel about him going to New York though and saying it in front of us? That's just disrespectful. Right. Okay. That's disrespectful. Right, right. That is disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what are three things that you have to have while on tour? My computer, my headphones, and lotion. Lotion? Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter? I love cocoa butter. Yeah. It smells so good. So good. I got to have those three things. Those three things? I can add one more if you want me to. Okay, go. A bucket hat. I always add. Five. One more. Um, nice pair of pants. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you guys deal with like tragedy and coping? Like, what is the best way you guys? How do you guys handle? Well, the way I handle losses, I kind of. There was one time I was in a class. It's gonna sound crazy, but my teacher, one of my teachers, said, "A funeral is supposed to be the praising of somebody's life, instead of it a mourning for death." So when I see like when it's a hard, when it's close to me, of course, every like it mattering, um, depending on how close it is to you, you're gonna cry, you're gonna soak, but like you should look happier to the outbringing if you had of it. One thing to ask me, what would you ask me? What? What did you learn today? Oh my God, I learned so much. I learned that. Night is the only person in pro era that will give me an interview. Um, I learned that Absol owes me an interview in a year. Um, I learned that you guys are really out here doing it and you guys are moving Connecticut crowds and that's really hard because we don't really like a lot of people. So you guys are really doing it and I'm, I don't know, I'm proud of you guys. Thank you. <laughs>